Welcome back to another Tune In Tuesday with myself, Orla. Last week we've seen quite a few changes regarding the government rules and the idea of a possible second lockdown. So today I'll be explaining exactly what the three tier lockdown rules mean and what this means for businesses. But before we start, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all of our socials to keep up to date with Mustang Marketing. To begin with, what do the three tier lockdown rules mean? Well, as cases have started to rise, scientists are concerned that in a matter of weeks, the NHS capacity will be strained in certain areas of England. So the government have created a system to make it easy to understand what rules apply in certain areas of the country. Each tier depends on the rate of infection as well as the rate of increase and the number of COVID cases. Tier 1 has the least restrictions and will be in place when there are less than 100 cases per 100,000 people. The rule of no more than 6 people gathering together indoors or outdoors will still be in place. It also means that there will only be allowed 15 people at weddings and up to 30 people at funerals. Then tier 2 will start if the number of cases increases over 100 per 100,000 people. This tier means that different households will not be allowed to meet indoors, including gardens. It also means that people will not be able to meet at hospitality, leisure and retail locations. Additionally, weddings can still have 15 people but no reception and funerals will also be limited to just 15 people. Tier 3 is the strictest and will only start if Tier 2 doesn't reduce the rate of infection. People from other households will not be allowed to meet in any setting whether this is indoors or outdoors and there may be controls on staying away from home overnight. But something that's different from the lockdown in March is that there is no plans to close schools or places of worship. So how might this affect businesses? If the area that you're in is in Tier 1 all businesses may stay open no matter what sector they are in, as long as they follow the guidelines and have social distancing measures in place. The curfew will still remain where entertainment and leisure places must close between 10pm and 5am. However, the government is still urging for people to work from home if they are able to. Tier 3 is where businesses will see the biggest impact, as hospitality and leisure places will have to shut down. So other businesses that are not part of those sectors may not see a huge impact compared to the lockdown in March. We understand that this is a really difficult time for everybody and we hope that this has helped you to have a better understanding of what the new rules mean as it can sometimes be quite confusing. So that is all for today's video but before you go remember to hit that subscribe button and follow us on all of our socials. Once again, thank you so much for watching and remember to tune in next Tuesday for a brand new video.